to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 2. So this is the 13th episode in a series of episodes where we focused on this paper extensively. So if you haven't seen the last 12 episodes, please check on our YouTube channel. So let us look at question B9. The following diagram shows some of the reactions of ethanol. So we have a complete combustion, then we have oxidation, then we have processing Q. Question A, draw the structural formula for ethane. So ethane uh, follows the uh, generic uh, group formula of alkenes, which is uh, this uh, formula. So ethane has two carbons, so we are going to have two carbons, then it will have double bonds here. Because of this double bonds, it needs to have uh, four hydrogen, because we have two C, then two times two, we are going to have uh, this uh, form. Then, so we can have one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, then we have another here, then we have another here. Then, uh, because of this double bonds, then we are not going to have the hydrogens on top and on top that. Then, once you do that, then you get uh, this one mark. Question B, give the names for solution P, plus Q, then gas R. So if you look at solution P, we are doing oxidation. So oxidation uh, basically uh, is a process by which we um, convert an alcohol into a carboxylic acid and water. So the oxidation reaction is like this. So we are starting with ethanol. So ethanol, we are going to use um, this structural formula so that it's easier for you to follow me what is uh, happening. So we have uh, this formula for ethanol. Then we react it with uh, oxygen. So what do we get? So the products that will be there will be this oxygen. So the oxygen is going to uh, react with uh, the ethan so the product will be this uh, ethanoic acid then plus in we are going to have water like that so this will be the product so what will happen is one oxygen is going to uh, replace this one so this one it will be replaced by one oxygen from that so that you are going to have one oxygen there then this two hydrogen are going to combine with the remaining oxygen here to give us this liquid. So the solution that we are going to get here is this solution, which is ethanoic acid, because this is water. So this water is not a solution. Then the solution is this acid, which is ethanoic acid. So P is ethanoic acid. So ethanoic acid which is uh, basically formed so formed by oxidation of ethan so when it dies uh, ethan we get a carboxylic acid so the answer is uh, this ethanoic acid normal you may to process q so let's look at processing q so process Q, what is happening? We are getting ethane from ethanol compound. So what do we call this a process? So this process is known as dehydration of alcohol. So this reaction is basically just an elimination reaction where the water in this ethanol is removed from the alcohol. That's what is happening. To get a better understanding, let us say, uh, for example, we have uh, this is ethanol, which we have with uh, this structure. So this is hydrogen, this is hydrogen, then this is hydrogen, then we have another hydrogen here, then another hydrogen here. Then this side we have. Uh, the alcohol functional group. 
So what is going to happen is we are going to eat this uh, in concentrated concentrated uh, sulfuric acid like that. So at 170 degrees Celsius. So once you eat, you are going to obtain two product, which is the alkin, which we have at this bond because of space. Let me use this one. Then plus you are going to get uh, the water like that. So this process is known as dehydration of alcohol. So we go and light there. So this is dehydration of alcohols. That's the process. Then gas R. So what is gas R? So for gas R, what is happening is we are burning ethanol in oxygen because it's a complete combustion. So I'm going to use uh, this space here. So what is happening in this case? Eh? We have uh, this ethanol, which let me use uh, this standard uh, structural formula like uh, that. Then this is the liquid that we complete burn in eh? the presence of uh, uh, excess oxygen, which is eh, gas. Then we are going to get uh, carbon dioxide, which is eh, uh, the gas. Then plus eh, we are going to get uh, water which is a liquid. So this is uh, what we are going to get. So this gas R is a carbon dioxide. So this is carbon dioxide. Question C, write a balanced chemical equation for the complete combustion of ethane. So just from lighting uh, this equation, which we did to be, uh, this is ethanol that we burn and this is a liquid so we're burning it in uh, excess oxygen to give us carbon dioxide which is gas then plus in uh, water which is a uh, liquid so what we want is to balance it at this equation so how do we balance at this equation so the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to look at uh, what we have at this side so this side we have a uh, two carbon here we have one so the next thing that we do is we introduce two here so that we have two carbon two carbons then because we have two carbons and then two carbons here then in terms of oxygen we have a four plus one which is five but here we have a this one plus this one which is a three so how can we balance these two so the other way that we can balance these two is to ensure that uh, we can introduce a 3 here. So we are going to have uh, 6 plus 4, 1 which is 7. Then here we have 4. So the only way we can get to 7 is to put a 3 here. Then we are going to have uh, 7, 7 this side. Then in terms of uh, hydrogen, we are going to have this is 6. Then we have this one plus that one which is 6. Then we do have balanced the uh, chemical equation. So this is how you answer this question to get the six marks, which is very important for you to get uh, the distinction. So thank you for joining me in this uh, episode. Please uh, join me in the next episode as we look at uh, section C in details.